piece is called To Stand Alone. It's charcoal and paper. It's a drawing of a lone tree. Imagination that I drew a few years ago. I drew this on sketchbook paper. Do something different with this video and just leave this on the screen. Then go into any uh, truth topics or expose anyone. Just going to leave this on the screen. Let you see it and let you think about it. And let you see what you see. all I'm going to do. Other people have enjoyed this piece, complimented me on it, on Fine Art America, could feel the beauty of it, could see what I was doing with this. There's a lot of people on YouTube, a lot of assumptions. I'm a fine artist. It's not a compliment. It's not me complimenting myself. Professional artist or fine artist, whichever you prefer. That's what I do. And it's what I enjoy doing. I think I've been an artist my entire life. Doesn't mean that I've drawn and painted my entire life. Like I've been a philosopher my entire life doesn't mean I've written philosophy, books. There's people on YouTube that seem to assume that I can't see the beauty in this world. Because I see the rest. I think a lot of them see themselves as Last half full. See me as someone that's a glass half empty. This stuff is so simple. It's just, it's oversimplifying a very, very complex realm. And I think there's a certain type of people that really crave that simplicity. And I think that's probably one of the reasons why I chose this, this particular piece. Because it does have a lot of simplicity in it. It really does. And I think a lot of people really crave that. But I also think they go too far with that. It would be like looking at a, a laptop, a modern day laptop. That you spent a lot of money on. You spent a thousand or two thousand dollars whatever the case may be. And, uh, you know nothing about computers. The hypothetical situation here, example. You know nothing about computers. You're seated beside someone in front of the laptop computer that knows a lot about computers. You, the one that is simple, that knows nothing about computers, says, oh, you just press this key. Computers are easy. Computers are simple. They're just the keys on the keyboard. The person beside you is thinking, there's a lot more com to computers than just the keys on the keyboard. There's a lot inside, man. There's a whole motherboard in there. There's a lot of electronics in there. There's a lot of components in there. There's cables in there hooking up, you know, hard drives and stuff like that. There's memory in there. Processor chip in there. 
be tiny capacitors and electronics in there. There's all sorts of complexity in there. It's not that simple, man. I know you want it to be simple, but it's not that simple. Not that simple, man. Keep looking at my picture. The Lone Tree. It's titled To Stand Alone. It's almost like it's a tree standing against the world by itself. Sometimes people need to do that, man. They need to stand against the world, to stand alone and plant their roots and not move, not budge, just like trying to move a big old tree, 200-year-old tree or older, just hundreds of years old. It's just the trunk is massive. You can't wrap your arms around it. You can't move that. You can't push that tree over as a little human being. It's not going anywhere. But you're trying to move it with arguments that make no sense, with assumptions. Like you, you just don't see the beauty. You can't see the, don't you see the beauty of this world if you see all this suffering? Have you ever used a gas stove? It's fire. You put water in a pot and start boiling it. There's water. There's fire and water. Can you see both fire and water, hot and wet? At the same time. It's right there. Some of us see the world that way, man. The whole picture. We're not glass half full because we don't just see that. We see the glass, we see the empty space, we see what the glass is sitting on. We see it all. We see the whole picture. We're looking at the big picture, man. We're not just focused on, oh, it's so beautiful. It's just beauty. And look at this sunset or this beach or this forest or the, these trees or these flowers or whatever the case may be. Whatever the case may be. I can show you beautiful scenery for days, just hours and hours of images. Or it doesn't take away the suffering by design, man. What you're doing is avoiding looking at the rest. And what you're also doing is wrongly assuming that we don't see it. They can't possibly see all the beauty I see if they're talking about all this suffering. You don't see it. Kind of got it flipped. You got it reversed. And I'm trying to help you out. You don't see what we see. See, you're assuming we don't see the beauty. We do. That's why we draw it. We take photographs of it. We paint it. We do. We've got evidence, man, that we see it too. We see the beauty here, but we see more, more than just that. See what I'm saying? And you're missing the rest. You're not seeing the whole picture. You're looking at one puzzle piece that looks pretty. It's got a little sunset, one little piece of the puzzle. And there's 500 other pieces, man. You're missing all those. We got most of the puzzle put together. We might not have all 500. And I'm not saying we have the complete picture yet, but we have a lot of it put together and you're fixated on one, one piece. You'll deny it because that's what people do when they don't see the truth or when they don't see as much as someone else. They get insecure about it. They don't like to admit that someone could see more than they do or see something they can't see. It makes them feel insecure. It's their ego. They don't like it. They don't like that feeling. Saying you see more than me. Get angry about it. They get upset, defensive. They say right now, yeah, I do see more than you. I see more than the general masses. I see beauty and brutality. I see the suffering. I see the deep suffering, and it's by design. It's not what not the way. Most of you portray it. The deniers of the soul trap just portray suffering. It's just something that just happens by chance, just random, you know, meaningless, and it's not part of the design. But it is, man. My videos have shown that. 
it's part of the design here in this realm and in nature to survive. Life eats life. Oh, that sounds so bad. I didn't make the rules here. I didn't design this realm, man. I didn't make it this way. I'm telling you the way it is, and I'm still looking at my tree, still looking at my charcoal drawing, the tree, to stand alone. You know who I'm named after? I'm named after the first saint, Saint Stephen, that stood alone against an angry mob in the street, and they stoned him to death for words. They used violence, real violence, that does physical harm and causes someone's demise because of the words he was speaking. They couldn't handle his words, man. See what I'm saying? Calling them out on shit that they were wrong about. Isn't that crazy? Because I'm doing the same thing. Isn't that crazy? Just a coincidence is what some people would say. No, it, it's deeper than that, but I won't go into that now. You have no understanding of, you know, it, it is kind of funny. I, I'm not laughing to be mean to put them down, but they have no understanding of how time works. Just none. To most of them, it's just a straight line, linear time. Past, present, future goes in one direction, a straight line. It doesn't work that way, though. That's what they teach you. It doesn't work that way. Time can flow backwards. It, it's, hap it's fluid, like the ocean. It's not a straight line on land. It's more like the ocean. You can be in the middle of the ocean and look in all directions. You can do a circle. You can go three, six, 360 degrees, see in all directions. That's really more like what time is. It's a metaphor for it, but it's, it's closer to what the truth is and what time is. And reincarnation is real. Crazy. Well, because you haven't done any research into it. So for you, it's a matter of belief or not belief. To believe or not to believe. Just beliefs. You don't need to look at the data, the evidence, the stories, the testimonials, the research at the University of Virginia that they've done for... I don't know how many years. I think it's over a decade. It might be 20 years or more. I mean, it's, it's a, they've been looking into this stuff. Even those humorless scientists that have no sense of humor quite often and no sense of creativity, they still want to find out, is this real or not? <laughs> and a lot of you will be dismissing it until they come right out, maybe on TV and say it's real and tell you. Then you'll nod, their, nod your heads. Oh, I'm smart, I believe it now, because the scientists on TV are telling me it's real. And some of us have been telling you stuff like this for many years. You just don't get it. Get those ego blindfolds on. You're defensive. How can a regular person, a stranger, know something I don't? I can't trust you, man. You're a stranger. I gotta trust TV. <laughs> I gotta trust a famous scientist. A famous Freemason. That's really who you're trusting. And you're totally unaware of that. Because again, you, you peep, a lot of you don't look into that stuff. That's old news to me. I looked into that long ago. All right? I'm not just telling you stuff that I just found out today or yesterday. I'm sharing knowledge that I've had for a long time. Some of it I didn't know that I'd ever share on YouTube or have a YouTube channel. For a while I just thought it was pointless to even share anything with people the way that most people behave in terms of you sharing them, sharing something meaningful, trying to help them. The way that most people react is disgusting to that. It really is. They're undeserving of help and truth. They act like swine. There's that old saying, don't cast your pearls before swine. That's the way they behave. So, because if you go to a farm, the baby pigs, they are cute, they behave, they're humorous, they're silly. No, they're not assholes. They're not rude. As filthy as what some of these creatures behave like when you try to share any truth with them.
the way they react to you, the way that they look at you, their reaction just on their face. Yet these same people, and they can be family members of yours or mine or whoever, they'll watch the biggest live shows on TV or Netflix full of lies and they'll just gobble it up because it's on the screen. But someone they claim to be They claim to be related to you or claim to be your loved one or whatever. They look at you like you're the sickest, most demented, deranged, craziest thing on the earth when you tell them truth to their face. But anything can come up on their screen and they'll just buy it. Anything. That's what they trust. So it's not just you're a stranger to me. Your own loved ones can do that to you. Many people experience that. They're not seekers of truth. They're not lovers of truth. They love the lies. <coughs> they love the TV propaganda. That's where some people go off track. Some truthers go off track. Give them every excuse in the book that they can come up with. Well, they're just programmed. They're just this. They're just that. They, you know because of the medicine, it's because of what's in the water, it's because of what's in the food, it's because of what's in the air. Observe them. Observe what they believe. Observe how they react. They take no responsibility for their own actions. Nothing. None at all. The way they react to lies on TV or propaganda programs, they just love it. They love it. That's the thing. They really love it. It could be about any topic. The topic doesn't even matter. It's the fact that they just love the lies. They love it. They're in love with the lies of this world. They're not like you and me. If you're listening to this and you're nodding your head and you're seeing what I see and agreeing, they're not like that at all. They don't love the truth. If I told them reincarnation is real and the research I've done and went into it deeply, they don't care. They won't even pay attention. They won't even listen. Where they are. If there's a program on Netflix about some bullshit that's uh, designed to mind control them about space or SpaceX or something, they're all in. They love it. They just love that shit. They'll gobble that up. Even if you tell them before the program starts, this is bullshit. They're just trying to program you and mind control you. And you warn them. It doesn't matter. They love the lies. They're lovers of lies. They really love it. The way it is. So for the people out there that are worried about standing alone, it's one of the best things you can do. If you're worried about being alone like this tree. Powerful. That's beautiful. That's amazing. That's what you should be. You should be willing, at least willing to stand alone against this world of lies. Very few in this world can do that. Very few that I see. And I wasn't born yesterday. And I think sometimes that's why artwork will resonate, favorite word of New Agers, but resonate uh, with people. They'll feel it when it's real. Even if they don't quite understand it, they'll just feel it. They'll just feel that this is real. This is, this is genuine. This is legit. This feels real. This person put real spirit into this. This isn't, this is different somehow. They're, they're puzzled maybe by it. They're baffled. This feels different than the shit on TV, Netflix, or, you know, stuff they're addicted to, the plastic crap in Walmart, all the fake stuff they encounter and look at, and the ads that are fake, soulless. You're sold, S-O-L-D, 
rather than S O U L E D, like sold out. Just soulless crap. That's what they sell you. So this feels different. You don't have to be an expert on art to look at something and say, wait a second, I'm really looking at this and really looking at the branches and the little details and wow, look at look at that. Really feeling it. Seeing what went into that. As I said, this is years old. This is one of the first times I picked up charcoal sticks and made this. This is not something that's polished, something that I spent 20 years working towards, practicing. One of the first charcoal pieces that I did. I'm not boasting, but how do you think I could do that? It's my spirit, man, my imagination. Maybe I'm connected with beauty. Maybe for the people that say, hey, well, you just don't see beauty if you see a soul trap and suffering here. Suffering, that's negative. You see suffering, you're negative. Maybe I'm connected on a deeper level with beauty and imagination, and I visualize these things in my mind. And I can put it down on paper. I could put it down on anything, on any surface. I could put this down on a wall of an insane asylum or an apartment, or a house, whatever. I'm not joking. I could fill a wall, a huge wall, with poetry out of my head, out of my imagination, not quoting someone else's poem, my own. You understand that? Do you understand we're not all the same? We're not even the same species. You can look at the surface, the same people will talk about, don't judge a book by its cover, man. Look deeper. Well, why don't you try practicing that? We might all have meat suits and look, quote, human, but what's inside? What does my spirit look like? Where is it from? Is it the same as yours? No, I don't think so. I don't believe we're all the same. I think there's a lot of walking dead around. There's a lot of creatures that look human. There's nothing inside. There's no spirit in there. Empty. They're empty husks. They're walking around. Walking around out there in public. They're in stores. They're on the sidewalks. They're driving around in cars. Does that mean they're the same as me? Oh, it doesn't. That hurt your feelings or hurt your ego, upset you, make you upset because you believed that programming for years that they hammered home. The media, the government, were all the same. You've heard it so many times that you drank the Kool-Aid. Now you're upset because somebody like me dares to say on the internet, that's all bullshit, it's all programming. Fell for it. You get upset. Go ahead, get upset with me. Get upset with the messenger. I'm going to keep speaking truth. You could fall down on the floor and throw a tantrum like a toddler and get triggered by it, and I'll keep saying it. Not to be cruel. That's not the reason at all. Not at all. You've already had cruelty done to you, and you accepted it. You accepted lies as truth. That's what you did. Now you're trying to reverse it, saying you're hurting me because you're telling the truth or you're harassing me by speaking truth on video. Some of you will writhe around like demons that have had holy water poured on you because you're hearing the truth in videos said by me and you say it's harassment, it's this, it's that. You make up all kinds of shit. As it bothers you, yet you stay here. You know it's true. That's why you're sticking around. As I've said, I've said this in so many videos, you're free to go to those shill channels. Trust me, I'm not holding you here. You're not a hostage here. I'm serious about that. I'm not trying to keep you here. If you're that uncomfortable with what I'm saying, if you don't like the truth and the, you love the lies still and it feels good, please, by all means, you don't even have to go to a shill channel. Just go to a fluff channel. 
that's just giving you fluff that's really has nothing to do with truth has nothing to do with thoughts on reality nothing deeper just fluff just pure fluff some of you even talk about how you need that you need to consume the kardashians I, i've read it in my comments on my pay, on my channel i've read it okay you need that you need that to feel normal you want to feel normal and fit in People laugh it off when I say, I'm, I say bluntly to those people, I'm stronger than you. You're not as strong as I am. So they try to do this other bullshit saying, well, I'm a woman, so I'm not supposed to be strong, and I'm glad you're stronger and do all this stuff. I'm not talking about physically stronger, mentally, spiritually stronger. You have to watch the Kardashians. You have to try to feel normal to fit into this world. Do what you want, but you're not taking the path I'm taking when I leave my body. If you want to fit in, maybe you want to fit in with the entities that come to you in the astral realm. You want to fit in with them. I sure don't. I'm more like this tree. The world wants to move me and says, do what we say. Come this way. Go over here. Go watch what I'm watching. Go consume this. Believe these lies. I say no. I'm standing alone. I'm planting myself right here where I want. Got my roots planted like an old tree. And you're just a tiny human looking up at this tree that's 200 feet tall. It's got this huge trunk and roots that are just dug into the ground, deep roots. You can't budge me. You can get upset, you can get triggered, you can get emotional, you can get angry, you can call me names, you can yell at me, you can cry, you can fall down on the ground, roll around on the ground in the grass, the dirt, start cursing, throw a tantrum, Look like a demon that's just throwing a fit, like out of a movie or something. That's what some of you do. I'm still there. I'm still there, man. I've got my roots planted deep. And I'm saying, I'm not moving. You move. I'm not moving anywhere. You can cry. You can yell. You can scream. You can curse. You can act like a demon. I'm not moving. I'm right here. I'm comfortable right here. I'm not going anywhere with you. You go away. You can't hang here with me. You can't hang here for very long. You're going to start to get hungry. You're going to have to go to McDonald's. Feast on that. Feast on that GMO. You're going to guzzle that down. And guzzle down the tap water so, uh, sodas with the ice cubes made from tap water with fluoride in it. Go get that. Go get you some. Go gobble it up. Guzzle down some tubes of toothpaste. Just squeeze them into your mouth and just guzzle all, all that fluoride down. Fill up your stomach. You go do that. Stay away from me. And hang out here in the forest with me. You can't live here. You can't survive this. You got to go back to the Kardashians to a TV screen. You got to watch that. You got to go gobble that up. Get programmed. Get mind controlled by them. You just think it's fluff. Go get mind controlled. All right? You're not at my level when you're talking about that shit. How you need that. Go ahead, gobble it up. Understand this, I'm not stopping you from doing that. That's your choice. Go do it. You want that, go do it. But you're not moving me. That's the point. You gotta catch on to that part of it, that aspect. You go watch what you want. Gobble up Hollywood demonic programming. 
all of all that you want. I'm not kidding. If you want to watch eight hours of that a night, go do it. But I'm this tree. You're not moving me. Get angry. You can say, well, you think you're so different. You think you're this. You think you're that. You think you're a, on a level above us. You blah, blah. You can say whatever. And I'm just like the tree. I'm not moved. Got my roots planted deep, strong trunk and branches. I'm just towering over you like a giant old tree, old and wise, standing strong, standing alone. Go move. You go watch your, your screens. Go watch the Kardashians. You go watch Quantum of Con Men talk about a thousand different Hollywood fucking evil movies. He's a quote truther. All he talks about is movies. You go watch that shit. You go to uh, Jay Dyer's channel or Jay Dreamer's Fallon. Go, go there. Go gobble that up. Go watch TV. Not like you. Oh, that really bothers you. Some people don't like that. I don't like to hear that. They treat that as an attack. That's a quote harassment. Because I'm saying things you don't like. You never grew up. Your parents just put you in daycare and forget about you. I'm not saying that to be mean. But you got issues. I'm trying to figure out what issues you have. Have some issues. You expect other people to be just like you. You think words are violence. You've got issues. You try to control people's speech. You've got issues. You've got control issues. You've got insecurity issues. You can't handle what I'm saying. You can't handle it, man. Might as well go into the forest and start yelling at the biggest old trees. They're not going to move because you're crying and yelling and throwing a tantrum. Pacifier, soother, your mouth. There she doesn't it. You're not as strong as I am. Go watch the Kardashians. Go gobble up that programming, that Hollywood shit. It's evil. It's programming. It's mind control. You've been told what it is. You still do it. Proof, you're not as strong as I am. Not nearly. Not even close. Does that bother you? Ah, oh, too bad. We're not all the same. The world's not going to tell you that. So when I tell you that, it really, really gets to you. It's too bad. I'm like this old tree. I stand alone. You're not going to move me. None of this shit in this world is. Not you, not anyone in this world. Not any of it. Not all the evil in this world that can't do it. I'm stronger. Do you understand that? And I know it. I'm aware of it. That's really the crazy part. There's fools of this world that say crazy people don't know they're crazy. Well, I'm crazy. I'm not normal. I'm not a follower. I'm not a conformist. I'm not following the crowd, the herd, or the truth or sheep or anything that clicks on here. <clears throat> I'm not normal. I'm crazy. Doesn't hurt me when people call me crazy. I just agree with them. Yep, you're right, I am. Far more than you realize, though. That's the funny part. They think they're insulting me, saying you're crazy. Far more than you realize. And then they say, hey, well, crazy people don't know they're crazy. Oh, I do. I'm aware of it. I have full awareness that I am crazy and I have full awareness. People shaking their heads, that can't be. It is though, I'm my own being in a world that wants to make me someone else, everything other than what I am. That's what this place is designed to do, to turn you into someone that you're not, to twist you, warp you, degrade you, change you, to make you satanic, like they are. To make you one of them. Like the world's a gigantic cult, full of many smaller cults. Big cults and then filtering down medium to small. 
just endless cults, culture, C-U-L-T hyphen, U-R-E, culture. One big fucking cult of cult followers. And if you're not a follower, you're standing alone. And I love it. Do you understand that? I love it. I love to stand alone against evil. You're following that shit. You're on team evil. All right? I know you don't like that. You don't agree. And to you, you try to limit evil to just the billionaires at the top or just the killers or whatever. You're on team evil, though, if you're following that. following evil you're on team evil here i am over here keep looking at the screen keep looking at that tree look closer look deeper look deeper and deeper and deeper at the fine details between the branches just look at that and then step back and look at and see the whole picture again and it looks different it looks different than originally, than before, when you first saw it. Once you start seeing those details, and then after looking at those for a while, you step back. You've seen the branches, but you, you, you step back a bit. You zoom in, and then you zoom out. Good way of looking at things. It works. It really works. Some people do that naturally. They don't have to be told. They don't need anyone to say, hey, try this. They just do it. Naturally. In an unnatural realm, in an artificial fake realm. A world stage. They intuitively know how to do that. They just, they just know. And I love those ones. I love those ones. I don't have to spend years trying to teach them how to do simple shit like that. Probably, it, it might be because they rejected the programming early on in school and early childhood. They just rejected it. They just knew this is sick. This is wrong. They're not going to change me. Now, as adults, they have the eyes to see. Some on my channels, they don't have it at all. They'll just bounce around from cult to cult. Followers. They're not like this. They're not like this tree standing alone. They're not like that at all. They just want to be assimilated, just eaten by the crowd. Be normal. Oh, fuck normal. That's the last thing that I want. I want to be crazier. I want to be madder and madder and see more and feel more than this realm. And there are, there are places outside of this matrix where you can see more than this, more beauty than in this realm and feel more, more colors, more sounds, more everything, intensity. It's going to be fucking fantastic. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be glorious, just glorious, just glorious, just the glory, the glory. If you don't know what I'm doing there, I'm doing my impression of John Levi. Yawn Levi's is what I call him. Do some parody videos and do his voice sometimes and his, you know, these certain architectures, architecture mainly, he'll say it's glorious, just glorious. And we can't build that these days. We're, we're a horse and cart people, you know? We didn't build anything. We just inherited all of this, including the trains that we smashed together. <laughs> oh, man, I love, I love that dude. I don't know if he'll ever listen to this video or any of my videos on my channel. He probably sticks to his very small, very small circle or very small box, but love that channel. I've fallen asleep to John, Jan Levi's voice many times when I had insomnia. I don't know why sometimes I forget about him when I have insomnia, but I should just put that on and fall asleep to one of his 20-minute long videos. I usually can't fall asleep that fast, but his voice, it just, it just makes you start yawning and getting sleepy. <laughs> and that's why I do that with those parody videos of him saying, I don't know what it is, oh, but my voice is making me sleepy, like his own doing a, a skit, comedy skit where his own voice makes him sleepy. He starts yawning. <laughs> I 
it's just funny to me because he's it's guy he has this sleepy voice that can literally put people to sleep like a freaking sedative and that's the way it is oh no hatred so don't get it that way like the, that's another thing with people these days i've never seen so much of it as in recent years it's incredible you do parody oh that's hate that's hate you don't know what real hate is if you think that's hate You've never been in places where you've just been hated and tortured. You haven't seen real hate. If you're calling a comedy parody video hate, you don't know what hate is, man. You, don't, you might find out one day, though. I'm not wishing that upon you, but, you know, if you're at that level of being that naive and, you know, it's just incredible the, how warped some people are. You have no idea what hate is. No clue. If you're calling anything on my channel hate, quote hate, you're so far off. You're not even in the same universe. You're just so far away. You're not even close. You've been programmed to call things that you don't like or don't agree with or that you're a fan of hatred. It's hate to you. If somebody views things in totally different or does a spontaneous uh, comedy skit a parody video whatever the case may be you're warped you're really warped because you don't know what real hate is and a lot of it's the younger generation you just don't see generation x doing that and if it is it's it's rare exceptions it's just one or two here and there but few and far between with the younger generation, almost everything that they disagree with, they call it hate. It's unbelievable. Ranks so much of the Kool-Aid, the propaganda. You don't even realize it. You're just unaware of it. You drank the feminism. You drank all kinds of shit. You just guzzled it down without even thinking. And then you grew into adults and you hung on to it. You didn't question it. It's one thing to guzzle it down as a gullible, vulnerable, impressionable, naive young child that's being programmed. But as adults, man, you don't question it. In other words, you don't do anything that I've done. You don't question any of this stuff. You just program and you just hang on to your programming. That's weak. You're not strong like this picture. Look at this tree. Keep staring at it. Strong, standing alone against all the lies and programming of this world, all the mind control, all the shit, the evil shit and corruption. It's wholesome, standing alone, being by itself, being itself, its own being. It's being its own being. It's not like you, though, is it? You just gobble up the programming and you still don't question it as, as an adult. You've been mind controlled, you won't question it. People point it out and say what it is. They're calling it programming. I'm calling it programming. I'm calling it mind control. Still mind fucked. You're still jumping from one cult to another, one cult of personality on YouTube to another. You won't, you won't even attempt to do what I'm telling you. Be your own being. Be strong. Be independent. Don't be weak. Stop following the crowd. Keep looking. Keep looking at that tree. I encourage you to find your own art. It doesn't have to be charcoal on paper. It doesn't have to be drawing. It doesn't have to be painting. You could express yourself by dancing, by making music, by singing, by learning a musical instrument. Could be the guitar, the bass, could be a harp, could be a flute. I don't know what you want to play. Sitar, could be anything, could be whatever instrument you want. Piano, whatever you feel inspired to learn or to try. You could make sculptures out of something. I've seen crazy people make sculptures out of garbage. 
I'm not lying. I'm not, I'm not joking either. I'm not mocking them either. Because I'm the particular person I'm remembering, I respect that person. Is completely mad. This world would call them completely insane. I've seen that before. I've seen people make sculptures out of garbage, literally taking it out of the trash and making something out of it. Working on something like that with trash. Old cigarette cartons. The packs and the cartons that, that they come in. Just paper. I nicknamed them Paper Mike. Crazy. It's a true story. People that your world would mock and look down upon, laugh at. I look upon someone like uh, Paper Mike, people like that, as more creative than most people I'll run into on YouTube. Head might be spinning. Most on here are trash. They don't make sculptures out of trash. They don't turn trash into beauty or something cool or something neat to look at or something, you know, see deeper into things. They're just surface trash. They wouldn't be able to focus on this charcoal drawing of this tree for five seconds. It's true. Make up every excuse in the world. Their memory span's been destroyed. TV's done it. They've done it. Maybe some of it they did to themselves, though. You ever consider that? Never thought, I'm going to work on this. I've got a bad, really short attention span that seems to be... TV seems to have fucked it up and destroyed it. <clears throat> I'm going to really work on this. And I'm going to... Excuse me. Excuse <clears throat> to work on this. I'm going to make my focus better so I can look at something for 30 minutes or an hour. Really focus on it. I'm going to work on that focus so well that it's going to turn into a superpower of mine where I'm not like these zombies that can't focus on something for five seconds without losing their attention span. I'm going to be the opposite of that. I'm going to have superpowers that they don't have. I'm going to be stronger they don't do that. That's their choice. They could choose to do that. I encourage all kinds of things like that. I don't expect most people to do it. I don't have faith in most people. I see them as they are and as they behave, to be honest. I see people that could look at my channel for five seconds and they think they have me all figured out. It happens all the time. It happens almost every day. So they're pretty common. They're not like one in a million, okay? There's only hundreds of people that have subscribed to my channel and thousands that have seen it. So when you look at that and it's every day, figure it out. They're pretty common. They're pretty common. And that's what surrounds you. They're not just coming to my channel, but they live around you. They're all around you, these creatures that are like that. And if they were on a jury and you were innocent and accused of a crime and you're in a courtroom, they're judging you. Those are the people on juries. Or the creatures, sorry, not people, creatures on juries. Think about that. Your life or the life of a loved one could hang in their hands. That's what's around you. They, have the t <laughs> they don't have the attention span of a fucking ant. And they're, they're on juries judging people where, where life hangs in the balance. Think about that. Really think about that for longer than I'm speaking about it. Spend a long time thinking about that kind of stuff. You're judging on juries, life and death situations. A person can be put on death row by creatures like that. They can't focus on something for five seconds, much less an hour or five hours. They can't do it. So anyway, I'm sure you, you, some of you are probably starting to see, wait a second, man, 
there's messages in this, in this artwork and in these videos. It's almost like there's meaning in his art and in the things that he creates. There's meaning in it. If I focus long enough and don't just look for five seconds and move on. That's what I wanted to show you. And it's not just with my artwork. I want to show you how to see and feel meaning. Even in a meaningless hell realm, if that makes sense. Well, that contradicts it. You're contradicting yourself. You don't understand. You don't understand what I'm getting at. There's a message here. Stand alone if need be. Against the entire world. Against the mob. Like St. Stephen did. Okay? Against the crowd. Don't join in. If they're calling someone names that you don't know, don't join in. Don't join the crowd. Don't do that. Don't do that stupid shit. Stand alone. They're trying to move you in an evil direction. Plant your roots like an old tree. And don't budge. Don't move. Tell them you move. You move. You get away. See what I'm saying? There's messages here. There's, thing, there's things here that I'm going to say on my channel. I don't hear them saying other places. They'll reference a thousand Hollywood movies and they'll quote them and they're obsessed with demonic Hollywood and they won't even tell you that Hollywood's demonic. They won't even go that far. You can follow them if you want. Maybe my channel's not the place for you. Maybe that is. I'm trying to do something here, man. I'm trying to reach you. But it's up to you. It really is. It's up to you. You got to choose. Just like you got to choose good or evil. You've got to choose. You got to make that choice. I can't choose that for you. That's up to you. It's up to you. I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you uh, really ponder this and really think about this. Not just my artwork, but everything that I said in this. I hope it I hope you carry it with you deeply. Carry it with you. For the rest of your life, carry it with you. If you need to stand alone against everyone, be strong and stand alone. Plant those, grow those roots deep. Just grow them deep like an old tree and just visualize it. Visualize your roots growing deep down into the earth where they can't move you. And I'm not saying ground yourself to this fake realm, this prison. I'm using a metaphor here where you're immovable. They could take a fucking bulldozer up against your trunk and they can't move you, much less them pushing on you with their hands, these puny little humans against you, this massive old tree. They have no chance of moving you. You're not budging because they're wrong. They're pushing evil and you won't budge. You won't cave into it. That's my message here. Don't give in to them. Don't give in to evil. Don't join team evil. Reject it. Reject them. Thanks for listening, everyone. Hope you have a beautiful day or a beautiful night. If it's nighttime there when you hear this, Joy, have some pleasure. Don't feel guilty for having a delicious meal or whatever the case may be. Treat yourself to something. Treat yourself to some pleasure in this hell realm. The simple pleasures. Enjoy yourself with something. I want you to do that. I really do. I want you to enjoy yourself. Do something pleasurable. Have a little treat or something today. Treat yourself to something. Please don't give in to the doom and gloom. Have a wonderful day. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for listening. Ponder what I've said, please. Think about it deeply. There are messages there. Have a beautiful day. 
I'm glad you're here, and I appreciate you. Bye.